After election night, if the result is not contested, there are two key moments before a president is officially sworn in. In December, the electors from each state meet to formally cast their votes for president and vice president. Now remember, Americans are not directly voting for the president, they're actually voting for a group of 538 people called electors who make up the electoral college. And electors vote for the president on behalf of the state they represent. In January, Congress gathers to count and certify those electoral votes, officially confirming the winner. Now through all of this time, the new winning candidate is getting their plans ready for government, the transition period. Finally, the president is sworn into office in the inauguration ceremony. It's almost always held on the 20th of January on the steps of the Capitol building.